I grew up in Denver, Colorado. You know, went through high school, played football there. I was in Durango, Colorado for college. I got coached by a really good football coach. You know, my position coach was Gus Bradley. Gus is a defensive coordinator with the Chargers, right now the LA Chargers. He did teach the next level football. Even, even back then, it was about learning, hey, what's the offense giving you? What are the tells giving you? And, and that's something that helped me because I wasn't the fastest or the best player out on the field. It helped me have the ability to make some plays because you could narrow down what they were going to do. My dad was a Marine. That's kind of what everybody in his family had always done. That's what I just assumed I would do. So he talked me into really him and my mom talked me into going to college and just, you know, do the college thing. Maybe you can go to the Marines and be an officer. Maybe you can join afterwards, whatever the case is. And I got hurt my third season again. You know, I got hurt second year, third year. I got hurt bad enough where I couldn't pass the physical. So I went down to the recruiting station and was just going to join because now it's time, right? You can't play ball anymore. So why are you in college? And, and I went to go join the Marines and they, they, they just laughed at me too. If you can't play football, why, how, why makes you think you could be a Marine? You know? So then I was kind of like lost for a little while. I mean, my dad sat down and talked for a long time. They advised, hey, just get your degree. It was very important for my mom for me to get my degree. So I was going to stick it out. And Gus really brought me back and just said, hey, why don't, you, why don't you just be around ball? Come out spring ball with us and help set up drills, whatever. And he helped also get you into the coaching. You can do this and then give you a little bit more responsibility and give you a little bit more. And I didn't know what else I was going to do with my life, so I said okay, and, and it kind of made me come through to here where I'm today. I've had the opportunity to coach all over the country. My family's moved a bunch of times, and I thank my wife and kids for allowing us to do that. It's been a great journey for us all. I mean, we've coached on the, on the West Coast at Southern Cal, you know, down south at, at Jacksonville. We've been all throughout the Midwest. Last time we were in Michigan, we were at Michigan Tech up there. Had a chance to take some long bus rides on those things and learn the UP a little bit, you know. I can tell you it's not where you want to be in the wintertime, but the rest of the year it's awesome. Just having that ability to go through and, and say you've, you've coached from the cold is cold. And, and listen, the UP is way less cold than Fargo, North Dakota, and we've been there. So it's been a great journey for us to be all over. You know, we've coached from Division Three to the NFL, and that's really helped my coaching style and kind of helped me grow up in this business and, and see a common thread through all kinds of different kids. You don't know how much of an impact you have on some young men's lives until after the fact. You can get up and tell a good story or you can make a point in a position meeting that might not make a dent in a guy when he's young. But the cool thing is, is we all have those players and those stories that they call you four years after they're done playing or five years and they're saying, hey, listen, this really helped me become a man. This really helped me guide me to what I want to do. This really helped me, you know, find religion and find faith. And, and that encourages as a guy, as a coach to, hey, we can keep doing that and, and making people's lives better. Coach Tucker called me and said, there's a chance that we, you know, have a defense coordinator job here. Would you be interested? To tell you the truth, I, I really was thinking to myself, it's, it's a great opportunity to go meet the guys at Michigan State more than anything else because as a football coach and a fan, you've always respected Michigan State the way they play defense. And really in my mind, when we first started looking at this job, you know, me and my family, I was like, I'm just gonna go up there to try to steal ideas. And I didn't know if it was really real in, in my mind. It was just a weird time and a lot of the guys switched there. And when I had a chance to sit down with Coach Tucker for the first time, it was like, wow, you know, I mean, this dude's, he's sharp. He's a defensive mind that you, that you love to be around. You know, he's been through a lot of guys. The people that I talk to, because, I mean, we all do research on each other. You know, we all coach with similar guys or the same guys, and you can call and try to pick their brains. Everybody had such good things to say about the man. So, you know, when I got here, his personality is infectious. He's a great guy to be around, just sit down and talk to. He's a, he's a real guy. We talked later and he offered me the job and, and it was one of those deals that it's something special to be part of a Big Ten team with a defense that's been as good as we've been here for so many years and, and be around the guys who helped build it, you know, to be around HB and, and Tress and Burt and, and Ross is a guy that I've known before that I've clinicked with and stuff like that and to be around that staff and to have that many good minds in a room, you, you really hope that you can build something special here. When you watch the guys on the field, just like they've always done here, play as hard as they can. Play with relentless passion to get to the ball. That's the number one thing you want to see out of every defense because you know what's going to happen? There's going to be things that the, the fans don't notice that the three technique got reached or the backer ran through the wrong gap and blah, blah. The things the fans notice is the guys that 
Hey, I just ran for 80 yards down the middle of the field. No one touched me. That, that, those, are, those are things that effort can take away. And it's something that uh, Michigan State's had here for years is to say, that, that, play with tremendous effort. Let's keep doing that. Let's, let's get guys who play hard, as hard as they can, uh, that, that fight to get the ball out. Then you really want to get to the point where you say, okay, here's 11 guys playing as hard as they can, every single snap, good. Now get them playing fast. And then you really want a defense that you say, hey, these guys enjoy and they love playing together. You can tell when you're out there on a field whether you call the same call every single time and you know what his strengths and weaknesses are and you know where you put the stress on guys. They're going to run the ball. They're going to make plays because they understand when, hey, this play is coming and I'm going to go make a play. And then when they do, everybody's celebrating and have a great time. And they don't care who makes the play. And if we can get that, that that's more the philosophy side of things is get that going. What you call on defense is less important than those things. Guys playing as hard as they can and as fast as they can and understand what they do and being clean and, and, then, and then celebrating and having a good time together and understanding team defense. Those are the three things that you really look for, no matter how much defense you get. He's going to go down, but he's not going to go down very far because it's going to be there. we got to go hands and we got to work on getting there. Okay? And all you know, right now, looking forward to the most, it's getting on the field and getting to know these guys and getting to know who they are and, and see them. You don't always see the real person that people are until it's game day and something went bad or it went good. I'm excited to get to know people in, in, at that level. You know, the level that we have right now where, hey, it's easy, we haven't played a game yet or we're, or we're fighting back and forth or practice got a little hard here and you kind of see, but the real person comes out in you when it's, hey, we just gave up a long drive for a touchdown or an explosive for a touchdown or we've been beating the heck out of a team for three quarters. Hey, are we starting to lose our focus or not? You know, th those are the things that, that you really like to see because that's when you really get a chance to know people. How much of a killer attitude do you have or how much of a fight do you need to get them back involved or how much do you got to get after them or where, what's their personality like? I mean, those are the things that are fun is to get people to know on that really raw level of emotion. I'm looking forward to those times.